This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 12 to 20, and then Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. You cannot unite yourself to God and Satan at the same time, says St. Paul. He uses this by, he tells us about getting married. He says, when you get married, you unite yourself to your husband, you unite yourself to your wife. And when you are united, you're one flesh with them. So don't go uniting yourself to somebody who's not your husband, not your wife, because then you'll be united to that person and not the person you should be united to. And this is exactly like it is with sin. You can be united to God or you can be united to Satan. There are no half measures here. It's fully one or fully the other. And you have to make up your mind. Am I going to go this way or that way? The way of life, the way of death. And the Lord tells us a story about a young man who chose the way of death. You can know the story, you can read the story for yourself. But this young man, by slow grades, degraded himself until he became like a pig. He even lived with the pigs, and he was jealous of the pigs. They ate better than he did. So in fact, he made himself worse than a pig. He had sunk right the way down to the bottom of the pig's sty, and there he wallowed. That's what it's like in the end, to be united to Satan. You might start off well, and it feels wonderful and great, but you realise you've become dirty. You become soiled. You're spoilt. You're not the man or woman you were before. There's something about you that's no longer beautiful. And bit by bit, that will wear away at your humanity until you become like a pig, wallowing in muck, thinking that this is everyday life. And if you're lucky, you have a memory of something far greater, far better, where you were pure, where you were meant to be pure, where you were meant to live well, where you were meant to feast and be loved and cherished. And at that point, you might say to yourself, well, it's time that I stopped doing this. I repented. By slow degrees, that young man turned himself into a pig, and the pigs looked down on him. And then he changed. He decided, OK, I repent. I stop living like this. I go home. Now, the father in the story is, of course, God. And when God looked out, he saw this fellow heading this way. Did he say, Oh, that pig of a son of mine. <clears throat> Not a bit. And this is the bit that often gets ignored in sermons about repentance and sin. That is that God is longing for you. Longing. That father was standing on top of his tower, looking out over the horizon. Is that dust, my son, coming home? Is that him? Is that shape, my son, coming home? Not a pig. You're not a pig, he's thinking. You're my son, I love you. And then it is his son. And God looks and even the tiniest movement towards God. And God is there, calling out for a ring, a robe, shoes, feast, music, rejoicing, dancing. Because that is what God is like when we turn back to him. And when other people say, 
you're accepting that one there, that one that used to live with the pigs, that one who used to do terrible things in his life. He says, look, he's your brother. He's your sister. She's your sister, I should say. He's your brother. She's your sister. It's right that we rejoice. He was dead, now alive. She was lost, now found. Come rejoice, and the whole of heaven, from the greatest of the seraphim and cherubim through to, I don't know who's the least important in the kingdom of heaven, but every one of them will be rejoicing, making merry, finding the ring, placing the robe upon you, putting shoes of the gospel on your feet, feasting you with Christ himself, the wheat and calf, playing the music of heaven, rejoicing, dancing, because you chose to turn round and come back to your father. That's how it is in heaven. It's Satan who leads you down by slow degrees to become a pig worse than a pig. And it's God who immediately exalts you up to the high table, to his place, next to him, to say, I want you, you're my son. So what's stopping you? <laughs> As we prepare to start the great fast, that glorious and beautiful time of the year, that joyful fast. We're not miserable in the fast, we're joyful in the fast, that joyful time of the year. Let's start heading back home. Leave those pigs alone, they don't love you. Leave all that filth and mush behind. It's not yours, it's not to do with you. That's all to do with Satan. And let's go home. And the moment we set off, we'll find that there is the Holy Spirit with you, the Lord with you, God the Father himself, welcoming you home. Your prayers, God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.